So I'm a genius and completely forgot that St. Patrick's Day was coming up. It's actually a couple days before right now, but I pre-record, as I've told you before, so I can keep up with everything. And I didn't plan anything special this time. There will be no Red Beard drinks four beers in like an hour and gets trashed like last year. I'm just going to have one good strong beer and wear the only green shirt I could find that just happens to be a Guinness St. Patrick's Day shirt. So it kind of works. Oh, what? Be going down, people of the world. My name is Redbeard, and this is a daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a bottle of Continuity Baltic Porter by the Stonehammer Brewing Company. Yes, I thought it might be fun to celebrate St. Patrick's Day by me trying a beer style that I'm pretty sure I have yet to try. Baltic Porter, I've had a couple porters. Not a Baltic Porter though, and nothing that's 7.8%. Stonehammer Brewing, I've had a few of their beers and I very much enjoyed them, so fingers kinda crossed for this one. Let's crack her open, if we can. Jesus. Off the top of the camera, lovely. Let's see what we've got. She's gonna be dark. You can already tell she's gonna be dark. Quite dark. So much. Oh, the head. We got some. We got some nice kind of chocolatey looking head on there. That looks. That looks nice. Here's hoping it tastes nice. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world go to those who watch my videos. The beard loves you all so very, 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 very much. Happy St. Patrick's Day. She's very much of the dark. Very much of the dark. <laughs> One of them black hole beers. No light can escape. That smells pretty nice. Roasty, coffee, mocha kind of aroma. Let's give her a shot. Whoa, tasty, but really thick mouthfeel. And I can tell already it's a heavier kind of beer. Try to get her down in a relatively quick manner. Pretty sure last year, the St. Patrick's Day, I did one vlog and split it up into two because it was like 20 minutes each or something. So it won't be that long, hopefully. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And again, happy St. Patrick's Day. That's really tasty. Just the roasty, like I like the same, it's, it tastes like it smells. Roasty, malty, chocolatey kind of coffee. Deliciousness. Yeah, I like this a lot. Today being March 17th, a bunch of things happened. And actually, I pre-did all the stuff for the pictures and everything. And I might kind of go through them, but at the same time, I thought we might as well. Like, I got the St. Patrick's Day Wikipedia page up here. There's so much stuff that we could talk about with that. Apparently, St. Patrick's Day, I, like, no, it doesn't say anywhere on the Wikipedia page where, like, the drinking came in. Just, I guess Irish, and that's kind of what... One of the stereotypes that people have of the Irish is they're all a bunch of drunks. Even though I don't think they all are. <laughs> but yeah. Celebrated in more what is it? What does it say? It's the uh I can't remember what it says. It's the most widely celebrated national holiday in the world, I think is what it is, because it's it's Ireland's holiday, but a lot of the world celebrates it, whereas other, you know, like who else celebrates Canada's Labor Day? Nobody. I'm kind of cool. I think it should be a national holiday. It's apparently a holiday for the lucky bastards living in Newfoundland and Labrador. Oh wait, but only for the provincial government employees. Why did they get... To that? That's stupid. It's kind of... Playing favorites a little bit. This beer is really good. I like this a lot. Very much lots. 
I said a random idea. I don't know where it is though. Never mind. I have one of those St. Patrick's Day big foam hats somewhere, but I don't know where it is and it would probably take me at least a half an hour to dig it out and I don't want to like pause and come back a half an hour later. No. No, that would just be that would just be weird. All right, let's go through some of these, I guess. Why not? There's not. There's a lot of stuff I can read about St. Patrick's Day, but I don't have any pictures to back it up like I, I should have done. All that preparation. I did preparation, so, you know, like, today being March 17th, aside from being St. Patrick's Day, on this date in 180, Marcus Aurelius died. This is, uh... No, oh, come on now. Jesus. Things are going so well. That's what he looked like. If you ever saw, saw the movie Gladiator... He was the one who died in the beginning, and then his son, Commodus, took over, but the movie is ridiculously inaccurate. Like, Commodus in the movie, played by Joaquin Phoenix or whatever, was basically like a little bitch. And in real life, he was a crazy, insane bastard who liked to actually get into the arena and kill people, and apparently he killed like 150 lions in one day or something like that at one point. And, Fuck you, man. That's terrible. Really terrible. Unlike this friggin' beer. Holy crap. Oh my god. Something else I completely forgot to do. Yeah, I have it there, because I'm a genius. Stonehammer.ca. Check them out. Their website, and actually, I don't know, it's, they got like all the Google, Facebook, Twitter stuff there, and the little Twitter feed here, but th this whole part of the website feels... I don't know, like 10 years ago to me or something. I don't know why. I can't explain it. But they make a lot of beers. They go over to Our Beers. They have award-winning brands, seasonal beers, Taste of Ontario series, specialty and one-off beers. I wonder what this one is. Specialty, maybe? It seems kind of special. They, most of their stuff's usually in cans. Uh, okay, I this is... Like, is that, that's a beer, 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 that... Queens, ha! Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go hunting for that right now. Regardless, really good beer, and it's got a pretty decent little thing on it here. The principle of gestalt continuity is the theory of a uni unified perceptual whole where elements flow effortlessly. The senses are compelled to move smoothly from one detail to the next. First, the mahogany and deep crimson hue is complemented by a rich mocha head. Rich malt sweetness dominates the aroma of toffee and black currant. The palate begins sweet and descends into full-bodied dark fruit punctuated by a slight roasted malt character. Finally, the high alcohol leaves a pleasing warmth which dissipates gently, continuing into the next sip. Two-time gold winner at the Canadian Brewing Awards. I believe that. Um, I'm not seeing a... I don't see ingredients or a date. How is there no date? Like, come on now. No ingredients and no date? A little bit, little bit of thumbs down on that one. That, that could have been done better. Just a little bit. You really couldn't have done much better with the beer, though. I don't know that... I guess that dark fruit flavor is something I haven't really gotten to the point where I can discern it from anything. I'm pretty sure I like it though. Anytime I see it in a beer, I'm like pleasantly surprised to find out that's the flavor I'm enjoying. So I am enjoying the flavor of the dark fruit. Quite lots. On this date in 1904, what the hell happened now? Oh, fucking well deserved for the amount of stupid that's just happened. Like, Jesus, I should go back to like the uh, the cuts everywhere. But this is more fun. This is this is real. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care for people that do like that. I used to do it in the beginning. Jump cut, jump cut, jump cut, and I don't like that. A cut now and then's good, but not all the time. Okay, on this date, 1891, the SS Utopia collided with the H H HMS Anson. This is actually the only picture I could find. It's like a painting that someone drew of the event. Look at the number of people on the bow of that ship. It's crazy. Okay, so it collided with 
that battleship and then sank and 562 of the 800 passengers on board perished. Apparently when they went to save, like when they went to dive down and retrieve the bodies, they were like so tightly packed into the compartments that they couldn't even get some, some of them out. It, it's nuts. And then like, I think it took just over a year for them to get the shipwreck out of the harbor and take it away. In that time, another ship actually came and hit the shipwreck of the Utopia and sank. Yeah. Uh, just, I, I'm, I, don't, I don't drive any kind of, well, is it called piloting a ship, I believe? Not driving? I don't even know. Drive a boat. But yeah, I have a kayak, so I'm generally able to easily see anything I'm about to hit. Maybe it's different in a giant ship where you're way above the water and you have better view. I'm not sure. On this date, 1944, the first flight of the B-45 Tornado Strategic Bomber took place. It was uh, developed just in time for the end of World War II. <laughs> used used uh, for a bunch of stuff after the war, but still, I don't know, like, they're, they're, they're developing all these weapons and stuff all the time, and it's like, wh why? Why do we need to kill each other? Why don't we just, like, develop some kind of awesome laser space array that circles the planet and protects us from evil aliens that, who knows, who knows? Like, why, why, why? Why do they gotta do war? I've, I've never been mad enough at somebody or a group of people to the point where I was like I, I want to kill all of you this just never happened ever and I'm, 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 I'd like to think it never will Oreo I'm sure the camera's not picking it up but he was really loudly licking on his balls just now. <laughs> it's, not, it's not the most pleasant sound to have in your ear as you're trying to enjoy a beer. M maybe you, maybe it is for you. I'm not going to judge, but myself, not, not a big fan. Doing okay here. Been recording for like 15 minutes, so. <sighs> this will be okay. It's not bad. No, this, this beer is delicious. I'm talking about the length of the vlog, sir. I'm kind of talking to myself and you at the same time. Why not? We'll talk together. Yeah, let's have a chat. Finally on this date, in 1958, U.S. launched the Vanguard 1 satellite. And yeah, I can't even really remember what it was. That is how with it I am at the current time. What was it? It's the first, so it's the first satellite to ever be solar powered. That's what it was, and it was the fourth artificial Earth orbital satellite ever launched, after Sputnik One, Two, and Explorer One. And although communication with it was lost in 1964, it remains the oldest man-made satellite still in orbit. It's like one of the things you, you think that there'd be some kind of international treaty that says if you have a satellite and it dies and it's just up there in space, spinning around, possibly gonna hit something, you have to get it the hell out of the, out of the sky. Like, what's the point of it still circling the fucking planet since 19... When, when was it? It was fucking... That was the other fact. That was on the facts thing that I disappeared. It was 1958. So 1950 has been up there for like 60... Over 60 years. Just zipping around the planet, waiting to smack into something and cause some... There's probably a bunch of useless satellites up there. I'm surprised there isn't some salvage company that's trying to capitalize on that shit. It could be worth some money. Even, even, even if you just took them and sold them as is, kind of. I don't know if you could do that, because international secrets were... Rambling! Drink number last. Really big. Drink number last. Holy Christ. But quite tasty. 
Treat never the last. That's bloody amazing beer. Stonehammer Brewing. Your continuity Baltic Porter gets a very solid eight. And if you had ingredients and a date somewhere on you, like I, I, ingredients I can kind of get around, but no date on this shit? Are you serious? Like, come on now. Ontario Craft Brewery right here, and you're not dating your shit? Not cool. Eight. Would have been a fucking ten. Because I love it. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drake vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you got some say to me, put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another day of drink vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Even that was kind of delicious.